This is CW 33 News at 9. Tonight, there are rapists free on the streets. They might be behind bars if untested evidence wasn't sitting on a shelf. Senator John Cornyn is backing a federal plan to use DNA testing to clear up the backlog of rape kits. He's trying to green light the SAFER Act, which would give a lot of money to the cost. CW 33's Don Tongish is here with more of what these kits hold. Don. Well, Amanda, we're talking about not only clues, but closure. There are about 400,000 of these untested kits across the country, about 40,000 of those right here in Texas. Now, remember, behind every single one of these kits, there's a name, there's a face, a survivor seeking justice. My name is Lavinia Masters, and I am a survivor of sexual assault. I was 13 years old. It was um, in July of 85. I was at home, uh, sleeping on the couch. Someone entered through a downstairs window and brutally raped me at knife point. He told me not to scream. I better not say anything, because if I did, he would kill uh, one of the kids on the floor. So I said I was 12, and all he said was, damn and continued to do what he did to me. I had no idea who it was. So 20 something years later, uh, when the Dallas Police Department had started an initiative uh, called the CCAP program, I was kind of disheartened to know that my case was still sitting on that shelf. I was afraid of the dark for so long and, and that unknown not knowing it. And it caused so much trauma and pain to me. We need to be able to move on with our lives. <laughs> that was a moment I will never forget. His name is Kevin Glenn Turner. That was almost one of the greatest joys in my life as having my son. Uh, being able to identify this perpetrator, this monster as I called him, because it was like a monster. You know, I was afraid of the dark for so long and, and that unknown, not knowing. It didn't happen to me just for, for Nelson Boy. It, you know, it was for a purpose. And so I want to fulfill that purpose. These are lives that are sitting on those shelves. And that's what they need. They need to make, uh, make put pictures on those kits, you know, so they can see it, you know, not just a number, you know, to identify these individuals. We're people. And tonight there's another victim.